Hi guys, welcome back. It's time for some thrifting. We're at the Goodwill. Um, excited to see what we find. It opens in a few minutes. We're a little early. A little aggressive on this rainy Saturday. Um, but yeah, excited to see what I find. Maybe I'll get a little footage in there, but um, we'll do a haul at the end, so stay tuned. I spent hundred and three dollars. So yeah, let's dive right in. Let's see what we got. First up, blue and red were half off. This was yellow, this was four dollars. It says motivated. This is the Calia brand, which is Carrie Underwood. Um, it's a size small. Her tag is like almost like an infinity symbol. Um, I just sold a pair of track pants from her for, I'm going to say like close to 30 probably. I'll try and put it on the screen if I remember. But anyways, I don't think I'll get too much for this tank, but, um, you know, $4, I think it will sell. I wish it was half off, but that's okay. Next up is this J Crew. This is a size 4. This is a linen, um tank top with this botanical pattern and it has this neon zipper and um, I grabbed it for the style and the fabric content and this was eight dollars but it was half off this Disney Animal Kingdom Mickey Mouse printed tank or a t-shirt um, graphic tee it is a size small it says Disneyland Resort Walt Disney World um, I don't know what all the different um, Disney lines are. I know there's Disney Parks, there's Disneyland, there's Disney World. I don't know which ones really do great, but this one was um, $2. It was a red tag. So I thought somebody might think it's cute with that fun summer coral color and that cool um, like tribal pattern on it. Next I got this. Um, it just says California. The brand is Love Tree. It's a size small. I don't know if that's anything. I haven't even looked it up yet. I just grabbed it because it was $2 and I think it would fit me just to kind of wear around the house and stuff. And it has a little California bear. Um, and I can just keep it if it turns out to be nothing. It just seemed comfy. Next up, you guys will have to let me know your opinion on these Lululemon leggings. Um, there's the symbol there. Um, I don't know about like all of the different size dots. I know there's a website or an Instagram post somewhere where you can look up like the different dots and what time period that means that they're from. This one is a size four. Sorry, it's like really reflective with the light. But anyways, it's a size four and it has some text around it in the circle. So anyways, I'll try and see, but I did see a sold comp for this pattern for $50. These were $12 and they were not on sale. So I think I should be okay with that $50 comp. I don't, that person that I saw the listing really quick just in the store, I have to look further into it, but that person used the word rare. Um, I don't know if that's true, but I was able to only really find the one really quickly offhand, but I'm going to do for, for the research. But let me know if you guys know anything about this pattern or which leggings um, do good for you because I really don't, haven't found Lululemon really yet. Um, just found one pair of short biker shorts at the bins, um, and that's my second time really finding it out in the wild, um, and I paid $12 for it, so we'll see how it goes. I think I should be okay with what I made. Is Good American. Good American, and I need to look up, it says Good Legs. I don't know if that's just a saying or if that's the style name. I have to look that up. And this is size two slash 26. And these are like um, faux suede kind of material. They're black with a gold trim. And um, we'll see how they do. I didn't look up this exact um, style or anything yet, um, but I got them for uh, half off, so three bucks. Okay, next up, this was half off, so these were $6. These are Gap New With Tag, um, which I thought $6 was probably fair since they're New With Tag. But um, they're a size 31 tall, and they're the classic straight, and um, they're black. So I figured, um, you know, should be a good bread and butter item for someone, um, being a larger size and a taller size. Hopefully, that's good. Um, next up, these were half off as well. These were $6, so they were $3. 
This was American Eagle. They are pink um, button fly. Uh, this style was in here as the wide leg crop. And these are from 2019. And they have the raw hem. I thought they were really cute. And um, yeah, three bucks. I think I should be fine selling those. I have Abercrombie & Fitch Super Skinny High Rise. I know it's not the most recent type of jeans, skinny jeans, blah, blah, blah. I think plenty of people still wear skinny jeans. These were $6. Um, and they are like new condition. And they're this nice dark wash. And they're size 12R. So I think those should sell eventually. Um, I also... For fun, I wanted to show you, I grabbed these. These are just Gaiam leggings, but I grabbed these for myself to try on. They're a size medium. Um, these were $3. If they don't work out, I can post them, but um, I haven't tried them on yet. But just really good condition, and they have the little side pocket, navy full-length leggings. And I also grabbed for myself this pair of Who What Wear, which is Target. These are paper bag jeans. Um, these were $6, not on sale, but I bought these for myself. I tried them on in the store, and I just thought they were really cute, kind of like that acid wash black, like distressed black, um, paper bag style, high-waisted jeans. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more fashionable with my jeans. Um, I usually wear, like, just basic skinny jean Levi's. Um, which I just tore a hole through one of them, so I kind of need to get some more jeans. Um, so I thought that was good. If not, I can sell it and make some money back. I just sold a pair of Target jeans on eBay, like high-waisted acid wash button fly. I think that brand was Wild Fable, so a different brand within Target. But I think some Target stuff definitely has a following. Obviously, you're not going to get a ton for it, but if you can get, can get it at the bins or new a tag at the bins or, you know, a couple bucks at the thrift store target pieces come across a lot at my thrift store at least in my region I don't know if all regions do this but they have a um like agreement I guess with the goodwill where all of their I don't know if it's all of it but a lot of their excess merchandise each uh week or season or whatever um goes to the goodwill stores for resale um the the target pieces that get sent directly from target they in my stores are a white tag and they don't ever go on half off day or half off week um but they're usually priced pretty good and a lot of times they are new with tags um but yeah anyways that's my deal with target and a lot of target shoes and stuff sometimes so i pretty much never really need to go to target for a real full priced items i can just go to goodwill it's kind of like shopping at the target because it's all target um Okay, next up is this Free People. There's a little tag. This doesn't have a size, so I need to measure and kind of estimate. I'm thinking an extra large um, or large would do just fine in this. Um, it's like this eyelet um, print, and this was $5. And, yeah, it's like a navy blue long sleeve, and it's a button front. And I think it has, like, the buttons, I think, are mother of pearl. Next, I grabbed, this was kind of a wild card. This was a white tag, which again is Target in my store. And this is a Black History Month Target t-shirt. It was $2. And it, I just really like this um, pattern with the diversity symbols. And um, yeah, I just thought it was really cute. And I think somebody could rock it. And it's um, it doesn't have a tag, but it's... 99% sure it's new without tag. I'll say that it's like new condition, but um, it's definitely just uh, something that Target was liquidating, I think. And I also grabbed another Target. This was only two bucks. This is Wild Fable, a size small. This one was new with tag, and it's just this long line thermal, uh, kind of waffle knit long sleeve. It's not quite as thick to be a, like a sweatshirt thickness. It's more like a waffle knit like long sleeve um just you know longer line i think somebody might find it comfy and it's two dollars new with tag so i think i could hopefully get like i don't know 12 or 14 for it and it's also like good to bundle with other things and although it's not like really in season um i don't really care about seasons right now because i feel like summer is so short and i've kind of already like 
missed it in a way not missed it but like it's just so short and I think by August people are really focusing on fall back to school stuff and so although like it'd be nice to find summer stuff here and there I think the bigger ticket items are gonna come in the winter time and fall sweaters boots jackets all that stuff I'm always on the lookout anyways um, and sometimes you find better stuff when you're shopping for the wrong season because the you know general population when they're shopping at the uh, thrift store and stuff they aren't focusing on buying sweaters for themselves personally so maybe there are some uh, better options when you're you know shopping out of season if that makes any sense um, next is Sundance um, somebody has a dry cleaning tag on it which um, I thought was a good sign but um, they took good care of it but this is a size medium Sundance I haven't sold Sundance before but this was only two dollars on half off and it has this really nice embroidery this is all embroidery and it has these like flutter sleeves and um, I don't know if they do like a different sizing system I need to look that up let me know in the comments if you know the Sundance sizing but this seems like a very pretty big medium so I think this could do well for a large or possibly even an extra large um, and it has these mother of pearl buttons again which look like a nice detail okay next up is soft surroundings I've sold this brand only once before I think this is a size petite small I actually didn't realize it was so small um, I mean it definitely could fit probably a medium as well it's a little bit of an oversized style but it has this really cool um, like contrasting stripes with like all these different like weaving patterns on the bottom and it's asymmetrical sweater and yeah I think I could get I don't know 20 ish something like that okay next up is Chico's this is a size one oh, this light is just not letting me show you any tags today there we go Chico size one you guys have seen Chico's tags before size one I think is probably what medium um, but it's 55% silk 42% nylon but it also has Angora rabbit hair 3% so silk and Angora I bought this based on style I just think it's really adorable it's kind of like a pretty like I mean I would definitely wear this honestly um, it's like a leopard print and it has like the two buttons and it's a little bit of a shorter length cardigan and um, this was five dollars so yeah I just thought it was really cute with the animal print animal prints always popular the fabric content was good and style and the price was right so I was happy about that next up this was four dollars this is Target this one is new with tag and um, it's this Rolling Stones uh, band tee it says the Rolling Stones as the brand um, if you can see that so it's like more official looking merchandise I guess um, I don't know what the meaning is of this flower logo um, but yeah I thought it was cool and it's an extra small um, yeah I like picking up band tees I just sold a Rolling Stones um, crew neck sweatshirt for like 30 or 29 I think We'll try and put that sale on the screen. I just shipped that out the other day. Um, so that was a good one to get for my sales this week. Um, but yeah, I don't know how the green logo will do, but I thought it was cool. And next up I have, these were $3, which I was really happy to find. These are Eileen Fisher size medium. These are flat front wool like dress slacks. I think they're full length I don't think they're cropped um, but I'll measure the inseam and everything and I realized if you guys ever have trouble with the material tags um, I found the material tag on the bottom uh, hem here and let's see if I can find it for you now yeah so it's in the bottom of the leg um, which is where I found it but it's 96% wool yeah the light is not gonna happen um, but yeah, 96% wool, so bought it based on brand style. I think they're definitely comfy. They have a little bit of an elastic waist. They have the zipper on the side and, um, you know, because they're wool that definitely elevates them. And Eileen Fisher retails for a ton of money. The retail 
or the resale price does not correlate with such a high retail, but um, for three bucks, I love picking up Eileen Fisher for a good price, and it's been selling really quickly for me. Um, next up is for four dollars. This is a Pink Floyd New with Tag Dark Side of the Moon classic band tee, and again, it says Pink Floyd as the brand, so I guess that means it's like official merchandise but anyways um new tag size extra large that should eventually sell and i think i should be good on that okay next up i was excited to find these these are assets by spanx let's see if we can get this to work size large these are um these are a target white tag for six dollars so I'm guessing maybe this was like a return or something because it doesn't have a target tag. But these reptile faux leather snakeskin leggings. My mom actually found a pair a couple weeks ago and sold them for $25. Um, so I was excited to find this pair. And um, yeah, we'll see if I can get the same or a little more or a little less. But I think for $6 I should be fine. And she sold those really quickly, I think in like a week maybe. Okay, next up is Cynthia Rowley, which I don't normally get too excited about, but I do like um, her nicer materials. So um, I sold a linen, a linen like tank. It was it was like not really a short sleeve. It was kind of like a cap sleeve, botanical print tank top. I'll try and put that sale on uh, the screen so you guys can see the sale price. I can't remember offhand. I think it was thirty dollars, and I had bought that for myself, but didn't end up really wearing it. Um, and it was, so it was still technically new with tag. This one is not new with tag. It does have this barb still here from this other tag, but I mean, I'm assuming this wasn't a Goodwill tag, but anyways, long story short, it's this 100% um, merino wool like you saw. So I think that should make it do well. And it's a really cute style with this bell sleeve. And it was only 250. So it was half off of five dollars so really pretty teal color and i think this is the last item from here oh no two more items okay two more so this is reformation by and a collab with urban renewal i don't really know what that means size medium but it's this black crushed velvet crop top and this was two dollars um, I saw a sold comp for like $10 and I also saw a sold comp for $30. So I think I should definitely be fine only paying $2 for it, but we'll see if I can get like 20 bucks. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, it's like very thin and chintzy and honestly feels like Shein or something, but hey, if somebody wants to give me 20 bucks, that's cool. Um, and next is the Rolling Stones. I forgot I grabbed another Rolling Stones. This is the more classic logo distressed kind of vibe this one is four dollars and it was a white tag again so some sort of return from target or something like that but, but yeah that is my goodwill haul again that was uh 103 dollars and i did pay six dollars of tax so in my state we do pay sales tax i asked the lady if there was a way to like get set up without like so that you don't need to pay sales tax and she said she just needs your tax ID number and then you get set up in the system for the future so I'm definitely going to try and do that so I don't have to pay sales tax because it's like six or it's probably almost seven percent in my state and um yeah so that'll save me seven percent and that would have made that would have made my total 98 dollars instead of 103 so let me know if you guys have done that with Goodwill before um but I'm excited to get that set up so that um yeah we're in the system and we don't have to worry about sales tax um but yeah hopefully those were a couple of helpful tips a couple of brands that um i'm excited about i'm really excited about the good american jeans for three dollars i hope i can if i could get above 50 that would be amazing but i honestly have no idea i really didn't look so we shall see and i'm really excited about the lululemon leggings um, I hope I didn't make a mistake paying $12 for them, but I think the condition was just like amazing and um, they're a smaller size, but I think um, if someone was looking for that particular pattern, 
they can buy them from me. So yeah, let me know what your favorite pieces were in the comments and if you have any suggestions on um, what I've post what I've purchased and if you think that you would have done the same and how my prices were pretty good today I feel like um there was I went on a Sunday which I don't know how all the Goodwills do it but I realized that on Sunday in this store that I typically like to go to um they do two colors that are half off so it was blue and red instead of just red and I didn't realize that until like three quarters of my way shopping and so a lot of these items that were blue I was gonna buy I was considering buying even though I didn't know that they were half off and then towards the end I realized so that kind of incentivized me to buy a couple of other items that I was on the fence about um, so yeah excited about some of these price points um, let me try and cal I'll try and calculate the average cost of goods and post it here um, just out of curiosity especially with the lululemons being a little more expensive but I think my average should be like in the five dollar range or a little bit less, um, but I'll calculate that and write it here. But yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you like this, obviously you don't have to subscribe if you don't like me, um, but yeah, it really helps my channel as I get started. We, I'm trying to figure out what order everything will come out in, but we did just come back from our trip to Portugal, which um, I want to give you guys some videos on that. I took a good amount of footage at most of the locations we went to, um, so that should be maybe two to three videos or something like that. I'll try and see how the footage comes out, so stay tuned for that if you like some more lifestyle content and traveling and... Um, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was um, definitely a little stressful with COVID being a surge, especially in Portugal. It was definitely a time. Um, but anyways, we had a really great time and we're back. My store is back from vacation mode. And so I'm also going to do a May overview since I was out for two weeks of May pretty much. And um, didn't really focus on listing too much during May. I didn't do a weekly sold video. Uh, this month so I'll just do a monthly video talk about some highs and some lows in my sales and give you guys an update on what's been selling and I mean I was really excited this will be for the June recap or maybe I'll do a first week of June video but I got eight sales the day that I came back which was really exciting for me um, we like I turned my store back from vacation mode before we got on the plane and then when we landed um, it was like a couple of sales and then they just kind of kept coming so I had like eight sales before I went to bed after landing from the plane which is really exciting and um, yeah so got those all shipped out right when I came back so hopefully things are picking up a little bit for uh, this month and I have a lot more inventory coming I still have a ton of stuff to list from different bins trips and stuff I am NOT allowed to have a death pile that is my number one rule and so I'm really trying to tackle all of these listings as I go um, throughout the week and do at least a few photos a day. I kind of feel like I get backlogged on photos um, and actually getting things photographed. So I'm trying to do like bigger batches of photographing. That way they're in my phone ready to be put into drafts and then I can just here and there start filling in all the details and actually setting them live. Um, so that's my focus. And with like the lighting in the house and stuff, I just feel like my window of time with photographing is a little bit strange. Um, with lighting and stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, thank you guys so much. That's my project for uh, this week is getting all these um, purchases from today listed and doing some stuff with my backlogged stuff that I need to get posted. But yeah, hopefully you guys have a great week. Today is Monday when I'm filming this. But um, yeah, stay tuned for more and thank you guys so much. Talk to you guys next time. Bye!